Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Doctor Who 4th Doctor Tom Baker action figure, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. As I said, I'm Shannon and today we're taking a look at the Doctor Who 4th Doctor Tom Baker 5 inch action figure. Um, I bought this for my wife last Christmas. She's already taken it out of the packaging. So we're not going to really get a look at the packaging, but I will go ahead and post it right now. All right, so with that, with that out of the way, uh, let's take a look first at the uh, details that Amazon.com has listed for this character. It's listed as Doctor Who, 4th Doctor, Tom Baker, 4th Doctor, action figure, 5 inches. Uh, it's got 4.5 star reviews uh, from 57 customers. And the listing says Doctor Who 5-inch action figure from Underground Toys. The fourth Doctor action figure comes with an alternate hatless head and collect and connect K1 robot part. Uh, imported from the UK for ages 5 and up. Alright guys, sorry about that. I completely forgot that this figure came with a remove, a, an alternate head. Uh, my wife had his head hidden in her TARDIS cookie jar. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. As you can see, he's got that Tom Baker grin, uh, the curly hair under the hat, uh, his iconic scarf, got the uh, brown jacket with the suede pads there, uh, gray pants, and very very stylish shoes got the green necktie um, as well as his sonic screwdriver I believe this was the doctor that made the sonic screwdriver famous I could be wrong um, I've never actually watched any of the fourth doctor uh, episodes but he's my wife's favorite. I, I honestly, I've never watched any of those. I haven't watched any of the early one, earlier ones. My favorite doctors are Matt Smith, who I got introduced to the Doctor Who series on, and Peter Capaldi. The uh, current doctor at the time of this shoot, filming, who's about to be replaced, uh, I believe, with the Christmas episode. Let's go ahead and take him off. The turntable here we'll turn this off and let's take a look at this first things first here's the here's the sonic screwdriver not really a whole lot to it um, actually just it looks like a lightsaber pretty much if you ignore the red the red lens on top I guess you call it just looks like a lightsaber so and there's a, tr a train coming in the background horn blows does the driver does have a little bit of articulation in the head got that shit eating Tom Baker grin on his face <laughs> uh, his arms do go all the way around you got a bicep swivel you got a swivel at the elbow. Uh, same on this arm. 
you got waist swivel, uh, no ab crunch. You got his legs can go up to there, no backward movement. Uh, thigh swivel, knee joint, and no ankle articulation. So let's go ahead and pop his head off. There we go. And you can take the uh, his iconic scarf off as well. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, there's... Just pops right on there. Very much reminds me of a Ken doll. The way that pops on and off of there. So, as I said does turn around we'll leave the scarf off for right now I know I know it's not the fourth doctor without the scarf sue me very nice detail on his clothing uh, the jacket is made of a softer rubbery plastic uh, you can't open it up all the way though, only from about that top button down. Uh, the rest of it is attached to the figure itself, um, but you can make out his uh, his vest underneath, his plaid shirt. Uh, he does. Oh, here's something I forgot. He does have wrist articulation so that's nifty he's got it, it does look like Tom Baker very iconic silhouette so let's since since this is the fourth doctor Tom Baker let's go ahead and set that to the side he wouldn't be the doctor the fourth doctor anyway without his scarf or his hat and it is slightly difficult to pop on but once you got it on it's on it's not going anywhere the sonic screwdriver does fit very nicely in his hand like so um, now here on Amazon's website it says he comes with a collect and connect K1 robot part. However, I'm not sure what my wife did with that part. Um, she may not have even really noticed it in the packaging. Um, I'm looking at the package right now on Amazon's website. And I don't even see it. In fact, it's not, it's not shown in any of the... Uh, in any of the pictures either you know how Amazon has the different pictures of what the figure looks like what comes inside the package and everything uh, they took it out of the package it shows the main body it shows the two heads the scarf and the sonic screwdriver but that's it so unless they're counting the sonic screwdriver as part of the collect and connect K1 robot part, um, I, I don't really know what they're talking about with that. There you have it, guys. Doctor Who, fourth doctor, Tom Baker, fourth doctor, action figure. Uh, real quick before we go, though, let's move this to the side. Let's see if he truly is five inches tall. Got my handy dandy duct tape here. And you will see with the hat on, he is about five and a half inches. So 
and I can see here that uh, he is just a little over five inches without the hat. So not bad. Um, my wife said that they got the scarf pretty accurate. They got the design pretty accurate. I know what Tom Baker looks like. I've seen Tom Baker. This guy looks like Tom Baker. Young Tom Baker, anyway. Sorry about that, guys. My phone, uh, which I'm recording on, came off the uh, tripod. But as you can see there, the iconic Tom Baker 4th Doctor profile. So there you have it, guys. From Underground Toys, the 4th Doctor... Doctor Who... Tom Baker. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.